I miss you guys so much. I wish I could just give you guys all a big, huge hug. Um, but since you're here, let's do some art. Today I want to teach you about my favorite artist, Vincent Van Gogh. Here's his really famous painting, The Starry Night. It's hanging in my classroom at school. You guys ask me about it all the time. So today, we're going to learn a little bit more about Vincent Van Gogh. Here are some self-portraits that he painted. Here are some quick facts about Vincent Van Gogh. The type of art that he did was called Expressionism because it showed a lot of feeling. He was born in 1853. That's around the same time that the Eiffel Tower was made. He's from the Netherlands, but he did most of his painting in France. Specifically, a little town called Arles, which was super beautiful. Here are some of his paintings made in Arles, France. All of these paintings have a lot of things in common. First of all, they're all landscapes, which we know is a picture of an outside place. Second, they have lots of lines, and the lines are there to show movement. There are lots of bright colors in these artworks. And you can tell that Vincent Van Gogh's favorite color was yellow. Finally, there are lots of layers that show the space in between the different areas within the landscape pictures. Don't forget that we know that in an artwork, things that are close up appear bigger and things that are far away appear smaller. Now I want you to go back and look at those artworks one more time and then I want you to think about these questions. How does Vincent Van Gogh make it look like things are moving in his artwork? Do you see colors that are repeated in each of the artworks? Which colors? Why do you think that Vincent Van Gogh used those colors in his artwork? Complete this sentence. Things that are up close in an artwork appear blank. Things that are far away in an artwork appear blank. What kinds of lines do you see in each of the artworks? How does it make you feel when you look at these artworks? What do you like about them, and what do you not like about them? You can post your answers to these questions on Schoology, and at the beginning of the next video, I will share some of your answers. Alright, now that that's done, let's make some art! By the way, here's Broccoli. He's doing well, he is alive and happy, and he misses you guys. An example of the drawing that we're going to do today, inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need for this drawing. A piece of paper, any kind of paper will do. If you don't have white paper, you could use lined paper or you could use construction paper or if you could even use um, the back of a piece of cardboard or anything that you have laying around that you can draw on. You need a pencil, make sure that it has an eraser. If it doesn't have an eraser, then you need to make sure that you have an extra eraser just in case you mess up. You will also need something to trace it with, like a black pen or a black marker. And then finally, you will need something to color it with, such as crayons or colored pencils. And if you don't have either of those and all you have is markers, that's fine too, even though you guys know that I do not like markers. Now remember, if at any time you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, or if you missed a step, you can always go back and rewatch it. All right, here we go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to draw our wavy, swaying tree. And when we're doing this drawing, I want you to remember that we are doing big S lines. We are not doing little squiggly lines, okay? We're doing big S lines, so go ahead and make one, wavy line it goes all the way at the bottom of your paper and then another wavy line and this is actually going to be our tree trunk this is a big tree it's right in the front of our picture right up close to us all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw some branches by doing the same thing a wavy s line a wavy s line on one side go over to the other side and do the same thing a wavy s line and a wavy S line. And then right up the middle, you can do one more wavy branch. 
All right, close those branches up by doing a little letter V and a little letter V. One more letter V. Good. Now we have our tree trunk and our branches. Let's add our leaves. So we're gonna do some big fluffy leaves that kind of look like a cloud. And this is not a realistic drawing. Vincent Van Gogh was not a realism artist. He did his own style, and remember it was called Expressionism. All right, great. Now that tree is all done. Remember that I told you that Vincent Van Gogh added lots of layers to his artwork to show space? We're gonna do the exact same thing. So we are going to draw our first layer of the ground. So we're going to just start over here at one side doing a wavy line. When we get to our tree, stop, go to the other side, and continue your wavy line all the way to the end of your paper. Now notice that I did not make my line squibbly, squibbly, squibbly. It's very smooth waves. Okay. Let's add a path or a road so it makes it look like we are going back into the picture. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a kind of wavy line that goes out from there. You can make this anywhere in this first layer here. Okay, and then we're gonna do another wavy line and it's gonna kind of go outwards, okay? So it kind of looks like a little pathway or maybe even a river. You can make it a river if you wanted it to. All right, next thing, we're gonna add our next layer and we want this layer to kind of go up. So it looks like some really big rolling hills, okay? So we're gonna start a little bit, we're gonna start right here, okay? Not very far away from where we started this line. Okay, and we're gonna go S line, stop till you get to your tree. Continue your S line, we're going up. Stop when you get to that tree. If you hit it, you might not. Continue, and we're going up, 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 up. So now it looks like we have a big, tall hill back behind this tree right here, okay? All right, now if you would like to add another path, you can. So it's gonna start back here at this layer. It's gonna be wave all the way till it gets to that layer. And this one's gonna be way teeny tinier at the start than this one. All right, so now we got our two little pathways and our two wavy trees. Let's move on to our sky. So I'm gonna make mine a sunny day. Um, when you're making yours, if you would like to make it nighttime, you can, but I'm gonna just go ahead and make a nice big sun right in the middle. And around the sun, I'm gonna draw some little lines. Um, and this is kind of like a similar trick to what we use when we draw the lines that come outward from the sun to make it look like the sun is shining. But Vincent Van Gogh tended to make his dotted lines go um, around the circle. And it kind of just makes it look like it's, it's radiating heat. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do these curly, swirly clouds. So first decide where you want your swirly, curly cloud to go. Um, I'm gonna make mine right here and just do a swirl. Then you continue your swirl, but with a wavy line. Okay, and then you wave right back and connect it to your curly, swirly cloud. Okay, you can do another one. Swirl, continue. And bring it back, close it up. The last thing that we're gonna to add to our drawing is lots of lines. Remember that Vincent Van Gogh used lines to make his pictures look like they were moving. And we're gonna make our picture look like it's a super windy day. So up in the sky, we're gonna draw some wavy lines. Make sure they're kind of going the same direction as your curly swirly clouds. Add a couple of those. You don't have to add a million, just a few. Now we're gonna add some wavy lines on our tree. Okay, and that just kind of makes it look like it's growing some bark. Can make it go up onto the branches, add some onto your little tree. Awesome. Next, let's add some little swirls onto our leaves. This will make it look like our leaves are kind of whipping around in the wind. So 
little swirls. And a couple on this little guy. All right. Now I'm gonna add some little wavy lines that are going the same direction as my pathway. And then finally, we're just gonna add some, um, some little lines in these two sections. So I'm actually gonna do um, some dotted lines on this one, just going in the same direction as that layer goes. So I'm just kind of following along with this line that I made. And remember, you don't have to do a million lines. Keep it simple because we are gonna trace it and it's gonna take a long time to trace. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more creative with this layer and make it have some little swirly bits. All right, and we are all done and ready to trace. There we go. All right, and then one thing you can do next that will make your artwork look neater is you can take your eraser and just erase out some of those pencil lines because a lot of the time when we um, draw wavy lines and then trace over them, um, we don't actually trace right over top of what we drew. So there's gonna be a lot of spots where you didn't trace exactly perfectly over your wavy line and that is totally, totally fine. Obviously I did the exact same thing, but your artwork is gonna look much nicer if you erase out some of those pencil lines. All right, and now it is time to color. I am going to use crowns just because they're my favorite. Whoa, that's not a crown. Hm, that's a paintbrush. But you can use whatever you have, colored pencils or markers, um, oil pastels, whatever you have to color with. All done. Just kidding. I had another one that I already made. Um, but you can see that I use very bright colors, just like Vincent Van Gogh did. I tried to use some yellow because he loved the color yellow. Once you're done coloring everything in, one more thing that you can do is you can add some extra color to some of your lines that you drew with other colors, like this. So where my dotted lines are, I'm gonna trace over them with orange, just to give them a little bit more of an exciting look. Okay, I'm done with that layer. Now I'm gonna go on to the next layer where the grass is green and I'm going to trace over those lines with a darker green. There we go, done with that one. And I am also going to trace over some lines in my trees and I'm gonna use gray to add some more um, lines to my clouds. There we go. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, lightly color around my sun with some yellow, just to make it look like it is shining. And voila, I am finished. I really wanna see your drawings. So if you go on Schoology and follow the directions, you can send a picture of your artwork to me. I will choose a few, and at the beginning of my next video, I will show them off to the rest of the school. Can't wait to see them. If you want to learn more about Vincent Van Gogh and his life, you can watch the video on my YouTube channel where I read this book, Vincent Van Gogh, Sunflowers and Swirly Stars. See you guys next time!